Hello everybody, I am Ben from Team Panic and today we're going to be looking at how my ant weights did at the February ARC meet. Now I had three ant weights there, which means there is a lot of fights in this video. So before we get started, I'm going to point out that if I've done everything correctly, in the description down below will be a uh, time code for all of the fights in this video. So if you want to skip my talking, you can just skip to those time codes uh, in that list down there. Also, before we get to the fights, a little obvious has not spun up before, or at least not spun up before on camera. So we have literally just put that big 48, 49 gram bar on the top of a little obvious. So we should take that into the arena, spin it up and see how we go. That was not good. So what happened there is that the blade is so low to the ground that any small amount of gyro forces hits the blade into the ground and a little obvious goes flying. Because of course, the force of that blade, which is a third the weight of the whole robot, is enough to send the robot flying. That's not good. Uh, so I need to prop that up a little bit and I did do that. The problem though is that after adding hot glue and plastic and stuff to those little wedges at the front to prop everything up, a little obvious was overweight. And overweight by four grams, like it was significantly overweight. Thankfully though, I did have another bar which was 44 grams, so like four grams lighter, four or five grams lighter, and that meant that the whole robot was underweight. So unfortunately I didn't get to spin the bigger blade in an actual fight, but I bolted on the smaller blade uh, for the first fight with that. However, that was not the first fight out of the gate. The first fight out of the gate was supposed to be downforce versus shrapnel. Now, that didn't happen because all of the time that I spent at the event messing around with a little obvious, getting the blade working, getting the whole thing under weight again when I added stuff to it so that the blade wasn't hitting the floor and all that kind of stuff, uh, meant that I only really grabbed hold of downforce like a couple of minutes before the fight and I realized that its drive was almost inverted, one side was inverted, and trying to fix that, like quickly unplug it and replug it, I managed to break the wire off the ESC board and killed any chance of it going straight into the arena when it was supposed to. So I ended up forfeiting that fight. Not that I was too unhappy with that, a fight first up straight against Shrapnel was a good way to basically write it off out of the competition for the, the whole day. Uh, if Shrapnel got a good hit, and I, it's a brand new unproven robot, so that did weigh into my decision a little bit to just take a forfeit on that fight and not go through with it. But like I said, it was actually the motor wire that really did need to be resold. I probably could have rescheduled if I really wanted to, and if it was any other fight, I probably would. But a Shrapnel fight first up, no, no, we're going to take the forfeit on that one. Uh, so that means that the first fight of today's actual video is going to be This Is A Party. And This Is A Party is going up against Sawtooth, which is a horizontal saw blade robot built out of paint scrapers. So it is quite tough and quite sturdy. Let's take a look and see if the brand new weapon bar on This Is A Party can dish out some more damage. Oh, yes it can. That was a lot of damage. We are oh, just, uh, even the first hit, breaking everything in the front there. We actually managed to hit 
the outer can of his motor and dent it in, the, uh, the brushless motor for the drive of the weapon, we dented that in, so the whole motor couldn't spin up anymore. Uh, he did try and put everything back together afterwards, but didn't happen because we managed to dent the motor can with that first big hit. And then obviously, plenty of big hits from there. This uh, single tooth bar design is so good. That worked out way better than I was expecting. Uh, yeah, good, good stuff. So, next up we have a 2v2 fight. So that is a little obvious now with the slightly less, uh, with the slightly lighter blade is what I should say. And Jaden from Raptor Robotics, who normally puts in one of his own robots, however, because a little obvious is going into the arena, and because of course I sent him photos of it uh, before the event, he was a little bit worried about putting his own robots in, so he has borrowed slightly rubber from me, which is of course my TPU printed uh, robot chassis, it's just a wedge, but he's borrowed that from me so that I don't friendly fire and destroy one of his robots. If I friendly fire, I'm damaging one of my own robots and it is a completely rubber chassis, so there's very little chance I'm actually gonna do any real damage to it. Fingers crossed. Uh, but, so we're going to go up first and we're going up against Broomhilda, which is an undercutter, and Forcey, which is a clone of uh, Blade Tip, which is another robot that we see in the A's. So let's take a look at how this goes. So we won that one, but that was not up to me. <laughs> a little obvious blade did not spin, basically at all. Uh, and I mean, it spun in testing. You guys saw it spin in testing. It bounced all over the arena when it hit the floor. Um, but something went wrong in this fight and it did not work. Uh, so I don't really know exactly what that is. I think the motor was just struggling to spin up. Uh, so between fights, I'm going to change the weapon blade for a slightly lighter one again. This one's down more at 42 grams. So it's still not light by any stretch of the imagination, but it is lighter than what we're at right now. I'm also going to make sure that the battery is completely, fully, fully charged. That one, I think, was about seven and a half, eight volts. So it wasn't at the limit of the battery, so maybe that type of stuff will help. I don't, I don't know. I don't know really what went wrong in that fight, so we're going to have to do a bit of experimentation to see if we can get this blade spinning. I'm, of course, very disappointed that it didn't really do anything in its first fight out, and of course, Jaden had to do all the work there. <sighs> we've, we've got to get this blade spinning. We, we really, we just got to do it. Um, so, next up, though, we're going back over to the A's and we're going to actually fight Downforce this time. So Downforce is going to fight Slipstream, which is another wedge robot. Let's take a look at that.
Oh yeah, get the win! That fan works so well. Uh, in testing here and like trying to work out how much downforce that fan is actually producing, I was getting very little in terms of any real change in mass for the robot, like on scales and all sorts of stuff I was trying. But in the arena, up against another wedge, it sucks itself down really well and manages just to get the traction and get in underneath people. That went so well. The front wedge of downforce is not straight, it's slightly crooked uh, because I just kind of glued that on by eye and didn't really square it up properly. But even so, even with a slight raise there, because of the downforce of that fan, it really does get in underneath people and just carry them all over the place. That's good. That is what we like to see uh, with uh, the fan robot like that. That's exactly what that's supposed to do. So next up, we're going back to This Is A Party, and This Is A Party is fighting Mr. Grind Jangles, who is uh, Jaden from Raptor Robotic, my teammate's robot in the A-League. And it is an overhead saw robot, which uh, should be okay for us, except for these wires here <laughs> kind of dangle out the side of the robot quite a lot and are quite exposed. So if he gets a lucky shot in here, then he is going to cut through the wires and we're going to lose the weapon motor for the rest of the fight. However, he is only a 3D printed bot, so if we hit his saw blade, either the saw blade will break or the arm will break. Hopefully we can get one of those two things to happen before these wires disappear. Let's, uh, let's roll the dice, shall we? Yes, <laughs> we did get lucky. He uh, he managed to get a couple of grinds in on the top plate here, missing these wires by millimeters. If he had had a tooth blade rather than a grinding disc, I'm really sure that we would have lost these wires in that process. Um, but as it turns out, he didn't, and we got very, very lucky. Managed to get that hit on the arm, managed to break the arm, and then something kind of fell on his switch apparently in that last like land of the robot and turned the robot off. So we won that one pretty easily. Uh, well, not without its scary moments, but it did go our way relatively okay. Then of course we had to go and fight with Jaden in another 2v2. This one is a Smasher versus Simple Solution. Because I of the blade issues in the last round, I swapped to the slightly lighter blade, the like 42 gram blade, just to see if this is going to improve anything for us. Let's see if it did.
<sighs> so it's not a blade issue uh, because the smaller blade didn't spin up either. So I'm thinking that somewhere in the gyroing at the very, very start of this video, we've actually done some damage either to the motor or the ESC. We've like back driven a spike of current through the ESC and fried something maybe, or we've damaged the motor. I'm hoping it's the motor, because I don't have any spare ESC. I also don't have any spare motors for a little obvious, because a little obvious uses a very special type of motor to fit inside that chassis profile. I do have some spares on order, but they're on the slow boat from China, and China is being like shut down for the last couple of weeks, or the last week or something, with Golden Week in China. Uh, I do have a spare motor, or a couple of spare motors for this is a party. They weren't really designed to go into a little obvious, but I'm desperate to get this blade spinning. We have to have, we have to have the big blade spinning at some point in this video, surely, right? So I'm gonna try and fit that in between the fights. Uh, so from the 2v2s, and I mean, obviously I do have to say a good thanks to Jaden, because of course he did the work there for us again. Uh, but then we're going straight back over to the A's and we've got this is a party versus antimatter. Now, if you've been around the channel for a little while, you know antimatter. Antimatter is a robot that I've had massive difficulties with in the past. It has a really nice low wedge, it's really well driven, it has really good traction, and it forced the change in This Is A Party uh, from the old wedges to these ones, just because I was never, ever able to get in underneath him, and he would always just push me around the arena, and he's won pretty much every fight I think we've ever had against him. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully the new wedge design works out for us, because this, this is the ultimate test of this new wedge design. Let's take a look at how this one goes. Oh man, we got so unlucky there. I mean, we weren't winning that fight before we fell down the pit, but we did get unlucky. Uh, I mean, it was also a little bit my fault. I was so focused on him and my driving and not being pushed around so much, I didn't hear the buzzer for the pit go, so that's how I ended up on top of the pit right at the end there and ended up down the pit. However, the self-riding worked really, really well this time. So I bent these bunny ears back just a little bit so that when he's kind of sitting at the front here, the weapon tilt makes him roll back onto his wheels and we can actually get ourselves back over again. Hopefully that will stop us from doing the thing so often and losing fights. And obviously in this fight it worked for us. We did manage to get ourselves back over onto our wheels and keep fighting only to drive into the pit, uh, which, you know, I, like I said, I wasn't winning that fight anyway. It was definitely not going my way. We could have possibly pushed for a draw if we didn't end up in the pit, but it was it was just a, a classic us versus antimatter fight. Obviously, also the um, the weapon has a little bit of vibration in it. I don't have this perfectly balanced, which means that we weren't ever getting a good wedge to wedge contact. We were kind of bouncing along, so we always ended up on top of his wedge, which means I probably need to try and actually balance this weapon before I fight him again, but that will probably have to be between months, I think, because I can't 
balance a weapon at an event. I don't have an end grinder or anything to do any of that type of work with. So yeah, there we go. All right, next up we are going to do uh, downforce versus blade tip. Now this should be a good one for downforce because of course this is another wedge robot, but this is a wedge robot designed to fight horizontal spinners. So its wedge forks aren't all that low and with downforce's good suction, we should get underneath him pretty easily and just push him any which way. And there you go. That's exactly what happened there. We, we did get some good pushes in on him. It was a little bit worrying there, kind of halfway through, because the silicon tires did slip on the wheel hubs, but they did manage to realign themselves on the wheel, so that was all good. But we will be gluing those down uh, before the next fight. I normally do that, so I don't know why these ones weren't. I think these were just uh, wheels off an older robot that had been put on there, so they didn't actually have the glue in them which, yeah, that's not a good thing, but hey, we got the win anyway. Next up though, we're going back into 2v2 fights and I have changed the motor for a little obvious. I've put on one of This Is A Party's purple motors and it means the blade is up super high now. <laughs> uh, but hopefully this fixes the issue and we'll actually get to see that blade spin all the way up. So we're going up against red simples and green simples, which are both uh, little wedge robots. So they're not probably the greatest fight for us, but let's see how we go here. Thank you. 
Oh man, that was a box rush and a half. I got hit by both wedges seconds after uh, the fight started. That was well done on their part, to be perfectly honest. But of course, uh, with the new motor attached, the blade is up too high. And actually, I can get this guy out now so you guys have a look at him. Uh, the blade is up too high, which means that when he goes upside down, there is too much weight down at the ground to actually be able to run up against a wall and self-right. In the testing earlier, I did manage to self-right with the old weapon motor in, like the actual proper weapon motor. Because the weight is down a lot closer to the chassis, it all works out and everything's fine and dandy. But uh, yeah, with the weight up this high, once I'm over, it's damn near impossible to get back again. Uh, so of course that meant that Jaden had to do all the work again and once he goes down the pit, it's all over Red Rover. Uh, so, we now actually go straight back into another 2v2 fight because to get this motor in, I pushed our 2v that 2v2 fight back as far as I possibly could, which meant it was actually butting right up against our very next fight. So we literally had to uh, put the robots back into those starting squares and go all over again. And this time we're going up against Sawtooth and Pivot Push. This is probably going to be exactly the same because our robots have had nothing done to them, but let's take a look anyway. Yep, <laughs> exactly the same. The weapon does spin, but the first time I hit anything, I gyro like crazy, I end up upside down, and we're done, that's it. All over Red Rover. So, two losses in a row there, I, we're not doing very well for the 2v2s. Maybe I should be putting something into the 2v2s that, you know, can actually do teamwork things? Maybe? <laughs> Might be an idea. Maybe next time, we'll see. Uh, from the 2v2 fight though, we are going back over to the A-League and this time we are going up against uh, Duck with This Is A Party. Duck is an Antweight replica of the robot of the same name from BattleBots, uh, which of course was designed to be a spinner killer. So let's take a look at how this one goes. So quickly, uh, he did jump the gun a little bit there off the start, but he didn't complete the box rush. He didn't hit me before the whole fight had started and he didn't hit me immediately after the fight had started. So I just kind of let the fight go on from there. Um, and then from there, of course, the weapon spun up and this bar, this new bar design is proving that it can really dish out the damage. That was really good to see. Uh, he's, you know, took hit after hit and then crumpled there at the end. So that was really good. I like that this is a party performing 
really well uh, this time round. All right, so now we're going to stick in the A group and we're going to go over to Downforce versus Escobar. So this is another horizontal spinner. Uh, this is kind of what the shrapnel flight should have been earlier in the day because Escobar started as a shrapnel cloppy and has now kind of evolved into its own thing. Both of them are devastating in their own right. And this should be a good test for Downforce because Downforce has only really fought wedges up to this point. So now it's see, time to see how it handles a decent spinner. Oh, that was not good. <laughs> uh, yeah, he did a lot of damage to us. Now that is one of the big problems with uh, having that extra weight is that none of the energy of the hit is being expended in shooting us across the arena. In a normal big hit, you will see both robots go flying and when those robots go flying, they're expending energy out of the hit to move across the arena, which means that less of the impact is being absorbed by the chassis. Downforce doesn't have that luxury. Weighing as much as it does with the extra uh, weight off the propeller means that it doesn't get to move, which means all of the force goes into the chassis and he managed to shatter that front wedge pretty easily. This is why I wanted uh, Downforce to have a changeable front wedge so I could swap in and out wedges, swap over to a rubber wedge when I was fighting good spinners or swap over to a lower wedge when I was fighting uh, wedges and that type of thing. So we're going to have to get that upgrade done because we can't be going around getting our asses handed to us like that by horizontals all the time. Um, yeah, so we need to be able to change that wedge out for something that will actually stand up against a spinner. And I think a TPU wedge on the front there would have handled that perfectly fine. But like I said, we need the changeable front plate. Uh, we also then do need to uh, fix that wedge because that wedge we need again later on there. It does have another fight to go yet. So we're gonna to need to glue that back on. I hope that we're not fighting another big spinner because that could be really devastating. Also, we did lose a wheel there, which uh, isn't great. I, like I said, I think these wheels are off an old robot. I thought I'd change the hubs for new ones. So they should have been good and grippy, but obviously uh, we did lose one there. So we'll have to like hot glue those on or something to uh, keep them in place. Next up though, we are going to do, this is a party versus Red Simples, which is one of the 2v2 robots we fought earlier. Uh, yeah, we didn't really do much damage with him, to, uh, to him, to, with a little obvious. Let's see if we can change that with this is a party. Yeah, we can, uh, we can definitely do that damage with this new weapon blade, hey. Uh, it is still unbalanced, like I said, I need to 
change that and rebalance it between months. Uh, so we were still kind of flopping around all over the place and jumping up and down as the weapon spun, but it's getting the hits in, it's doing the damage. I can't really complain too much about it so far. It's had a very, very good month up until this point, which is really good to see. Uh, so next up, we're gonna go over to the 2v2s where we're fighting uh, a little obvious and slightly rubber are going up against Reaper and Antimatter. So, you know, this is an antimatter fight. <laughs> I barely have a weapon because when I use it, I end up upside down. I think we all know where this one's going, but let's take a look at it anyway. Hey, we won that one, but I mean, by we, I mean Jaden. Jaden won that one. Once again, spin the weapon up, hit things, end up upside down, can't really do anything. I'm just kind of a bit of a decoy, I guess. Um, yeah, so we need to get these new weapon motors in and we need to do something about that. Like I said, with the new weapon motor, with everything flatter to the chassis, it should be okay. It should be back up and running. I, I don't know, it, it's gonna take some work. Hopefully we'll manage to get it back up and running before the next 2v2, which is kind of two months away from here. We haven't done very well in the 2v2s though this month. If you've been keeping track, we've done pretty poorly. So I think at the end of all of that, we're in fourth place for the 2v2s. Yeah, yeah, um, that's, that's, that's a thing. <laughs> yeah. So with, uh, with that loss, we're just going to put that behind us and we're going to get back, go back over to the A's. And we're going to go with uh, downforce versus kind of, sort of. I've glued the front wedge on. It is a spinner, but it is also a vertical spinner. So maybe we'll be okay here. We'll see how we go.
Oh, so we kind of played ourselves there. I, uh, I had him right where I wanted him and he moved. Basically, that's what happened. I was trying to ram him into the pit and he just, he got out of the way and I did not correct in time. Uh, so yeah, that's a thing that happened. Downforce is now out completely. That's it, done and dusted uh, for Downforce. Downforce had enough uh, losses to not make it through to the finals, but that's kind of okay because I didn't really want two robots in the finals anyway. I really don't think that's fair to other people to have two robots in the finals. So uh, yeah, I think if I get two robots into the finals, I, I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that in the future. But for this month, we don't have to worry about that because Downforce had a couple of losses under its belt. So, you know, it, it doesn't need to, uh, doesn't, doesn't need to be discussed because it didn't make it into the finals. However, this is a party did kind of make it into the finals. So by kind of, I mean, three of us ended up on exactly the same points. Uh, and if you do a count back, each of us had beaten one of the other three, which meant that there was no easy way to determine who was first, who was second, and who was third in the group. So we meleeed, we just fought it on out. So uh, this is a three-way fight between myself, Sawtooth, and Antimatter. Obviously, I'm not really all that happy about Antimatter being there because it's really hard for me to beat Antimatter. Sawtooth I beat pretty convincingly early on, but since then he's added an extra paint scraper instead of a weapon. So he's now really, really low to the ground and can easily kind of swing the paint scraper in underneath you. Uh, so I'm not too happy about that either. This is two very low wedges against my bouncy boy spinner. Let's take a look at how this goes. Hey, we made it into the finals. I did kind of, um, yeah, take out Sawtooth because I basically knew he was the only person that I could really take out. I hit him quite early, tried to disable him up enough that Antimatter could come in and push him into the pit. Then when the pits opened, I kind of backed off and tried to let Antimatter do that. But Antimatter wasn't quite getting the job done, so I went in and finished that off. Once I'd finished that off, of course, uh, Antimatter then turned his attention to me and, well, you know, rest is history. It's a, a this is a party versus Antimatter fight. Antimatter wins. That's the way that happens. Uh, but that does mean that we go through into the finals and we go through in second place, meaning we're taking on first place in the other bracket, which is Shrapnel. <laughs> So we're actually going to get a good, hopefully get a good fight with this as a party against shrapnel. These new side pods are designed to deflect shrapnel up. They, the whole redesign was based solely on 
um, antimatter and on shrapnel. So getting to fight both of them in the same event, having just redone the chassis to fight both of them, beautiful. We can test all of our uh, design principles that we want to test. Uh, so this is going to be quite the explosive fight. Let's take a look at that. Yes, that was a very explosive two-hit fight. Oh, that was great fun. Uh, so, obviously, first hit we took against Shrapnel. I think he's kind of caught us in the middle between the two wedgelets down here. And somehow we still managed to get kicked up. I don't... I, I really, really would love to see that fight in slow-mo and get a slow-mo camera on that if I ever could because I'd love to see how a horizontal blade hitting a wedge forces us to go... Up. That doesn't make any sense at all, but it, it just seems to be the way it happens. I thought it was because of the internal sloping on the wedgelets on the old version of This Is A Party, but I mean it happened again, so I don't know at this point. I'm happy with the new wedgelets, I think we're going to stick with these for a little while yet. Um, but it's just, it's quite bizarre to me. The second hit of course though, I'm pretty sure we went weapon to weapon on that second hit. And so we jarred all over the place and it snapped his chassis open like a sandwich, uh, which that was incredible. And then obviously because he was open face like that, his battery was exposed. So that was it. It was all over. Uh, he was out of that round. So now we've made it into the finals, which is great news. The problem with that great news is that uh, Antimatter also made it into the finals. So that will make three fights with Antimatter in this event. And oh my god, Antimatter just gets me, has got me every time. I mean, I think we all know where this one is going. Um, it's, it's an Antimatter versus this is a party fight. And we're a wobbly boy this month because this blade still needs to be balanced. I mean... There's not much more to say, let's, let's just have a look at it. And we won! Yes! We won one fight out of three, but we won the important one. So, we won the month. There it is, right there. Brand new This Is A Party, and a brand new first trophy to go right along with him, and that is beautiful. I mean, sure, we got lucky. Getting that nice hit on his side there to flip him over and having that happen so close to the pits was just more luck than I've ever had in a combat robot fight. Uh, but, I mean, I am going to take that because that worked supremely well um, for us. And yeah, I'm just lucky that the next couple of little taps that I gave him forced him into the pit and didn't flip him back over and get him back on his wheels because if that had happened then the fight would have gone a very very different way but as it stands this is a party has its own nice little first trophy uh, for the new version which is very very exciting yeah that was great I mean that was a roller coaster of a set of fights uh, lots and lots of up and downs all the way through there and yeah, then we're going to turn around and do it all again. Next weekend, I am going to uh, MCR, which is the Melbourne Robotics Combat Group, and I'm going to fight over there, going to fight some different robots over there. Uh, so yeah, we're going to have a new fight video out 
uh, next week. Hopefully with this as a party, maybe with downforce, not with a little obvious. A little obvious needs time. I need uh, new components for him. So he's gonna be kind of shelved for a little while. And I might put something else into the arena as well. I don't know, it will depend on time. Uh, and there is a lot of other things on my mind right now. I'm doing some, uh, some design work for something that's quite awesome. But uh, yeah, you guys won't see that for a little while. It's still very, very much in the design phase. Uh, so yeah, that's gonna occupy a bit of time. But like I said, we will go to Melbourne and we will fight robots. Even if it's just this is a party, we'll definitely be over there and fighting. So anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed this one and our nice little win for the month. And I will see you in the next video.